we have to find the square root using a division method. This means that the first step is to pair up the numbers. When you start pairing, start from the right side. That is 21 will form one pair and 79 will form another pair. Now, in the division method, the divisor keep changing in every step. For the every new dividend you get, the divisor will be different. So it is not same. So how to find the first divisor? The first divisor will be like uh, when you take a square of that number, it should be equal to 79 or less than that. Or in simple terms, you have to write the square of its square number, which is closer to 79 or equal to 79. 79 is not a perfect square number, so we'll try to find the number which is less than that. So we'll start with 7. So 7 square is 49 and 8 square is 64 and then we have 9 square is 81. Now 81 is greater than 79, so we'll go with 64. 8 square is 64. So 8 times 8 is 64. Now subtract these two numbers. So when you subtract here, we'll get 15, right? We got 15. Now we'll drop the next number, which is 21. Now we have four digit number, 1,521. Now for this new dividend, we have to find the new divisor. How to do it? Now this is really important step. Uh, how to do it? The number which is there in the question, like here we have eight, we have to take the twice of that number. Okay, twice or double of that number. So 8 plus 8 is 16. So we'll write 16 here. Now along with 16, I have to find one more digit. Now this is very important step. Now this digit should be same as a digit we're going to take in the question. The next digit in the question. The both should be same. It is uh, not like if I take here 4, 164 times 5, I cannot go for like that. Like in regular division we do in that way, right? But here no. So if I take 4 here, this means I have to take 4 here. So when you multiply, you will multiply 164 times 4. If you write 5 here, it will be 165 times 5. So the digit here in the unit page, uh, the next digit in the question should be same. So you have to try to find such a number. When you multiply this two, you will get equals to 1521 or less than that. So let's see how to do it. Now you can use a trial and error method, which is a time consuming method, or you can use this trick, which is like uh, very easy. We want uh, one at the end, right? We have one here at the end. So think of a number whose square, like y square, because this number and this number are same. If you take 3 here, 3 here, 3 3 is a 9 or 4, 4 is a 16. So you're going to multiply this two number and the last digit, uh, you will going to tell us which number we get it. So we have one here. So think of a number which will give us one. We know that 9 square is 81. So this will going to give us one or the next number is one square, which is one. So we don't want one because 161 times one is 161. So we'll go with nine. So if I take nine, 169 times nine, nine nines are 81. And then nine six are 54, 54 plus eight will going to give us 62. So we'll write six here, two here. Nine times one is nine plus six is 15. So we get to 1,521 and that is what we require here. So subtract it, we get zero. This means the number is perfect square number. And what number we have taken? Nine. So 169 times nine is 1,521. So this is how you have to find out the square root. And uh, we have not yet written the square root. So square root of 7921 is equals to 89. So what we got here in the question will be the square root of that number. I hope this one is clear. Now 